What up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Uh, my protein, 40% off, use code AFTERMATH. You already know the vibes, you already know the deal. The vibes is in the room, the room is in the pudding. The pudding is chocolate, which is me. You already know that caramel chocolate, you feel me? Apex Legend player on twitch.tv slash Teron underscore Beckham. Let's go ahead and get that out the way before we start this video. Now, for those who didn't know, on the last video, you saw me deadlifting, and I failed the deadlift. Failed the deadlift, um, and a lot of people are saying it's due to my change in my hand positioning, my straps, or like I, I shouldn't have used straps, I should have stuck with like the over under grip or whatever. That's not the case. What really happened is I tired myself out, first off, you know, just entertaining the crowd. It's not, it's not, it's, it is showing off, but it's not at the same time because I'm there to perform for everybody, you know what I'm saying, to show them you know that i do this you know in, in person in, in person pretty much all the stuff that they're excited about me doing on instagram the backflip deadlifts all the fun stuff and i'm there to have fun and to show people enjoyment of lifting and that is the case you know what i'm saying it's not because i'm i'm trying to show off in a way in a way it's entertainment i'm an entertainer that's that's all it is but anyways so on the lift mid lift I don't know if you could tell, I actually just stopped. Um, it wasn't I, I, it wasn't like I couldn't have got that weight up. I honestly could have, um, but I stopped because pop, pop, pop. That's right, three pops, lower back, that had me walking horribly for like two days. Like that day, could barely walk. The next day, could barely walk. And then actually, I've been kind of loosening up and stuff. And I'm, I'm fine now. Still can't do certain things. Um, I'm not gonna try to deadlift right now, but in a few days I'll be able to deadlift again. Not heavy, but I gotta build myself back up. Now, for me, when I take that into consideration, I haven't deadlifted in a while. And I've been getting adjusted by um, Dr. Michael, who you've seen a video with of me getting adjusted, uh, helping with some knee pain and stuff. And I've never got adjusted ever before in my life. Ever. When you saw the video back in New York when I was getting um, done stuff done by Bob Mechanic, that wasn't chiropractor adjustment work. That was more of a muscular scraping and uh, mobility stuff um, toward with him. But with Dr. Michaels, with the actual chiropractor and more, I've been getting you know cracked here and there in my back, chest, whatever, hips, and I made the mistake of going all out and tiring myself out first going all out on a deadlift when I wasn't used to deadlifting in the positioning my the new positioning my body was at so I didn't give my body a chance to build muscle with the new adjustments or, or build more stability with those adjustments because usually y'all know mr. strong back here I don't wear a belt I it just it's uncomfortable for me uh, when I deadlift and Usually I get away a lot of times with not using a belt and honestly personally you can call me an idiot or whatever I just feel like a belt weakens weakens you you know because it's taken away from the 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 brace that you need to create yourself to hold that load it's, um so I have to re program myself to deadlift again um, due to these adjustments and stuff. I actually supposed to go back and get adjusted tomorrow and I want to focus on actually slowly making my way back up to a higher deadlift. I should be good back into the heavy deadlift in about a month or two uh, from now, at least by the end of the year for sure. Um, but I've still been comfortably lifting. Everything's been cool. Um, still been able to bench, you know, 500 heavy lifting. Um, my warm ups is one thing that I need to take a bit more serious. I've been getting away with not warming up like I properly should throughout the years. And ever since I stopped football training, like strictly football training, my, you know, the weightlifting is just like, ah, oh, I just warm up with the bar, warm up with. 125, 230, 225, I mean 135, 225, you know, so on and so forth. That has to stop for me. 28 years old, I'm getting old. I'm getting old, chat, and it's, it's, uh, there was an awakening. It was an awakening that I got injured deadlifting, which I kind of just like own a majority of the times that I deadlift all these years, and now I'm like, all right. It's time to take this serious. You know somebody that takes dead, just, just warm up serious? The Rock. 
I've seen him warm up in person and I was just, it was in Vegas. There was a video about it in The Rock's presence, blah, blah, blah. There was a video about it and I, I watched him warm up for like 30 minutes and I was like, damn, my pre-workout would have been burnt out by the end. I probably can't, wouldn't be able to take the pre-workout until after I'm done warming up if I tried to warm up like him. And that's honestly gonna be the case now. Um, I've been feeling better doing about 20 minutes of cardio and then warming up and then going into my exercise because my body's hot, I'm sweating, um, gets my energy up so too, I feel a lot looser um, going into the warm up and then starting my workout. Uh, that's probably gonna be the scheme that I'm going to stick with from, from now on when I go into training. Um, me and Babe are going to Cabo. We're doing like a little thing on our channel, the Power Couples channel, uh, where we're just trying to lose some weight. I've, I've been uh, addicted to cardio. It's crazy. I've been addicted to just, just being on the Stairmaster. Because at first, I hated the Stairmaster, yo. I, I hated the Stairmaster with a passion. I'm like, yo, I don't wanna just. <sighs> but my trick is, I take bigger stuff. I just skip a step, skip a step, go over it, and I focus on the lunge to glute to quad aspect of the Stairmaster. That way it feels like I'm lifting in a way, you know, I'm like, a, I'm doing some resistance training, which in reality, I actually am. Um, but taking it step by step, which is bothering me, it just felt like a drag. So if you have an issue with the Stairmaster, I suggest you try out doing it um, every other step. And then like when you're trying to catch like a little break from that, just take a couple steps in between for a minute and then every other step. And I've been doing like 20 minutes straight, 20 minutes straight of Stairmaster, uh, going to workout, I'm doing my warm up, going to workout and coming back to the Stairmaster at the end of my workout to do another 20 minutes. So 40 minutes all together. And in those 20 minutes, I tried to get in on the, the scale about a thousand steps in. Uh, within those 20 minutes. So usually I end up doing more than those 20 minutes. I get to about a thousand steps in like 18, 30, you know, so almost 20. So um, definitely try that out. And I've been feeling great. Like it's really made me start to get addicted to cardio, you know, and I know strong men and powerlifters, that sounds like death, but trust me, it's not. And my goal now is to keep this mojo going for conditioning cardio running all this like stuff that i just want to do like i should be at home and i'm like yo i just, just want to run um so i'm trying to keep this feeling now while still obtaining strength in a way i'm not going to force myself to be crazy strong like always uh but i'm still searching for that balance of getting the strength training done and still having the cardio so that way I can still lose fat. I keep my heart rate above 130 beats per minute, um, which is uh, where my heart rate needs to be for my age. As I said, I'm 28, 130 beats per minute um, is around that fat burning uh, heart rate beat per minute. And you wanna stay above that. Sometimes I even end up in the 168, which is around the high intensity mark for me. And I'll be in that mark for about five minute about five minute intervals, um, and then I'll bring it down to about 142, put put the uh, the levels back up, be at 168. So I'll do about five minute intervals of high intensity to moderate intensity, high intensity to moderate intensity. That's what I've been doing for fat loss. And we'll see where I'm at in a week from now. That's when we're supposed to leave the Mexico. Um, so I'll show you the, you know, the results pretty much. I am, once again, I'm at like 142 right now. I dropped down from 149. I was almost at two, I mean, I mean two, 249. Uh, I was almost at like 250, which is like the heaviest I've ever been. So, which, which is the one, 249. Um, so I'm at 242 right now, trying to get down to 236, 35 maybe. Um, I, if I have meat that day, I keep it low carbs, and if I don't have meat, then I um, bring my carb intake up. Um, the reason why is because it's hard for me to break down beef, which I normally eat. I don't really like chicken that much anymore, um, but when I have beef, it just, I, weight just wants to stay on me. So as I've been cutting that down, my body's been showing a bit more promise with change and fat loss um, and, and, and weight loss as well. So we're gonna keep with that structure of uh, 
of training and food, food processing, whatever. And I'm not gonna have a cheat meal for this last week, but I'm excited to see where I'm going. You already know. Uh, I'm gonna shut up for now. I just want to get you uh, a video out to kind of just show you guys, you know, what's going on with me, what happened with the deadlift, why is my back hurting, and what's going to come for the future of what is me. So you might see me shredded, you know what I'm saying? I don't know about shredded and being 500 pound benching and deadlifting eight and squatting whenever I squat, but we out here. So hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Appreciate you guys for watching, talking, listening to me talk and all that what nonsense. And don't forget to hit up the Twitch channel. Peace out. Catch you later.